Hello everyone, this is Katarina speaking and I'll bring you the energetic update for the galactic new year, the lion's gate and all those astrological events that we're going through at the moment. And the light language is here to support you so you can ride these energetic waves with ease and grace. So yesterday on the 25th of July was the day out of time in the Mayan calendar and that means one cycle has ended, this is this liminal space in between and today a new one has started and it's really fascinating because I was tuning into that and I thought that me in the northern hemisphere do I feel like new year and I felt like there are two movements happening at the same time and with the lion's gate opening um, around that time the river Nile is flooded and it brings new life new energy so to certain cultures it definitely makes sense and I feel like many of you might be able to relate we are in this constant death and rebirth cycle it's like I already had three this year, you know, and if every one of them would be a new galactic year or whatever, I, I had three years in one already. And some of you may be able to relate to that as well, um, that you feel like your life is in a huge app, so much is drawing away. And at the same time, you are bombarded with new information where you feel like, oh my God, I'm meant to do this and that. And where is the next path? So we have days of real old stuff literally drawing away and you have to deal with it. And you fear this old stuff coming up. You know, when there is app, you can see everything that's on the ocean floor and you find gems from the past but you also feel parts where it's like oh wow that's time for a soul retrieval there's an aspect of me that wishes to return and we are in this energetic um, cosmic pressure cooker you know where it feels like this is a time where we really turn into the diamond you know <laughs> where it's like oh my god the pressure is the highest but we also accelerate much quicker than before and um, my guides have given me that information over and over um, these last couple of days it's like in the last year and two and going forward we are processing so much that would usually take a lifetime let that sink in in a year or two we've processed so much that you normally would do in a lifetime and I thought that's totally okay then to feel confused overwhelmed exhausted at times it's like whoa <laughs> I don't know where to start you know there's so much new that wants to come in that wants to be integrated that wants to be processed and put into action at the same time all the old stuff wants to get out and the easiest picture is like you know your home it's like um, you're meant to do a house cleanse and a renovation at the same time you know all the old stuff going out while at the same stuff the new is coming in and it's like whoa I'm slightly disoriented now <laughs> so which part of me still belongs to me which part is already outdated and going and what I found really interesting recently is also our old coping mechanisms don't work anymore um, and coping strategies or belief systems like or you know at least I always had this about myself and these aspects are changing as well so it's like you know the identity shift is tremendous you know I can't express that enough and for those of you who also had this dimensional shift or you're preparing for their dimensional shift on the lion's gate my guide said a huge group of highly advanced people star seeds empaths light workers um, truthers you know all of um, the awakened ones that are already clear and aware will um, have the potential to go through um, a dimensional shift and that also is going to be part of the Lions Gate activation that I'm doing next Sunday on the 7th of August so the night before because then I can guide everybody through and then you can ride these waves and take it all on board and I've been taken through some initiations and it's like, you know, I feel like every time I say, oh, you know, it's a whole new level. But sometimes it's like when we played on that level and then we're all of a sudden in a whole other stratosphere. And it's like, Christ almighty, that operating system here is completely different. And that can be disorientating as well. So I'm mentioning all of that to give you a breather and to know you're not alone. I ha have it happening. And we also have Uranus now playing up. And I think he 
he's aligned with the north node of fate as well and um going through a taurus alignment and um uranus is the planet of breaking free of moving forward of helping us to step into all of who we are which is fantastic but he has a way of operating with sudden shifts um changes and yesterday um on sunday i was doing um a journey um with my car preparing for the lion's gate absorbing loads of codes and informations and places where i'm taking everyone to and then i heard a really funny sound in my car and, thought, mm. and tomorrow i meant to drive my neighbor because of the train strikes to a far away place and we agreed it weeks ago and yesterday my car has totally packed up it's now a thousand pound repair awaiting me um hopefully done by later tonight and the entire exhaust pipe and whatever and my feeling was oh Katarina just fix the car on Thursday do your neighbor tomorrow you have a full day of videos clients all the rest and then another voice was Katarina I think this is serious bring the car to the repair <laughs> and when I arrived and I looked at it and they said you were so lucky because there's oil dripping from the motor and if that would have gone a little longer the entire engine would have packed up I thought, oh wow, hello Uranus, it's totally disrupting everything that's going on at the moment and I felt like I was maxed already. So, um, and it's times where old coping strategies really don't work anymore and the poor me and the victim and then the intellectual analysis should have done this, that and the other. And one of my guides said to me um, on a beach with a whole other personal situation years ago and she said to me, Katarina, one thing, if I teach you one thing to learn for the rest of your life, yes, you have my full attention. <laughs> she was saying, you always have to deal with what is. Very simple. What is right now? And um, it kind of took this whole analysis, right and wrong and good, bad, out of it. It's like, so what's right ahead of me? What do I need to do to solve this right here? And for people who are intellectual and analytical as well, it's really helpful to combust all of this. I don't need to worry about it now. I don't need to understand why it's happening. And um, in a beautiful client session this morning, um, we discussed it as well that the physical density is much slower. So when your energies ramp up dramatically quite quickly, not everything can go with you, including my new phone, which is still in repair as well. You know, please, certain things just work. Um, so my car obviously couldn't go with it in the same speed neither. And it's like um, physical side effects of this vast change. And never forget our earthly realm is also increasing. We have those massive solar flares that really ramp up the energy. We have the shifts in the earth herself where it's like, oh my God, I'm going with it. I'm increasing. Many of you, um, and I'm always so touched when you say that in comments in the videos as well, that you feel a deeper connection with animals, that you do things that you normally wouldn't. We feel like, oh my God, I wish to save an animal, a snail, and People look weird at me, but I feel so deeply. It's all part of that hard awakening and becoming aware we are part of the net of life. And um, I've got a little hedgehog now in my garden and I'm feeding him with cat food and I'm so protective over him and I feel so deeply. It's like, oh my God, it's like I've, I've got a pet, you know, so intense. And I thought, wow, I always loved animals and I always cared for them, but this is a whole other level of deep emotion behind it and um, when I asked Gaia about it in nature and she's like Katarina we are returning to that original connection and um, loving deeply caring deeply is actually quite normal if you think about it you're humans you're born with a loving heart a caring heart so you're just returning more and more to your original selves as a group overall and I fear that will also bring changes in the long run in how we treat our planet, how we treat one another, how we care for animals. And all of that is really, really good news. And I think, um, as I said earlier, you know, there's the app 
and then the flow at or the flood at the same time and that is part of the new you know where we're also learning to navigate oh my god I've got so many more emotions than usual and also what I heard from clients is um, it's harder to keep your energies clear you know you absorb more than usual and that is also part of shifting either timelines or dimensions when your body is upgrading massively so your body is highly busy doing that internal shift and changes this is going to be discarded that we don't need oh wow the energy flows different where do we disperse it now whoa pineal gland is highly activated whoa there's a lot coming in where do we put it all you know so it's a really really busy system and that leaves less energy for energetic shielding and protection where it's like I just want to stay in my clear bubble and I love wearing my selenite here and it's oops, a simple piece of selenite in a spiral kyanite is a really good crystal um, for cleansing and overall clearing your aura and wearing it as earrings as well that's tanzanite um, um, Rainbow Moonstone is also another good one to really shield your energies and Shungite. Shungite has been really prevalent for me at the moment. Um, and with the old identity, the dimensional shift, the Lion's Gate is bringing that in very strongly together with the rise of the Divine Feminine. So the rise of the Divine Feminine is really, really gaining momentum. You know, if you remember those sinus curves where it says nothing happening and then boom, all of a sudden it's like shooms, it's just happening. And you're like, wow, wow, did I, did I, did I not get on the train? How did I miss this huge curve? And many of you, and you don't need to be a woman Woman, there also and it was 11 11 in the recording it's an awakening code for the divine masculine who people who are aligned with the planet with the goddess with the divine feminine with holding that principle of giving um, life new ideas the life force itself um, the precious jewel in the universe Ashta is saying that's Gaia so all of you who are aligned with it no matter if male or female have that rise of the divine feminine within them and they're in for the masculine it's often called the grails knight the protector the um supporter of it and the enabler for that opening of the divine feminine that she's safe enough to receive what she's bringing in which is then serving everybody including the divine masculine because they guide each other into higher dimensions which is really beautiful to experience and that part is really strong with this lion's gate and it's like you're gonna hear her roar and um, that grounded confidence that getting in touch with your own power and we will work with that um, in the Lion's Gate activation as well because all of us have a different form of power what is my unique power how do I express it how do I want to bring it across and um, we are not all roaring lions and we are not all pussycats neither and we have a blend of energies and different skills and abilities and um, my guides also were saying we weren't born to fit the mold and now the mold is literally crumbling in all those places when we thought oh you know I'm gonna make myself fit in and I'm gonna make it work and it's like it's not meant to work anymore in those old settings and formats so part of that identity shift as well so now I've talked a lot <laughs> let's see what our guides wish to bring in for this Uranus for the galactic new year let's see what their um <laughs> Ashta is saying, it, saying it's going to be an enchantment, right? Okay, or get your wrist down my back. So you can close your eyes, connect with your heart chakra, with the golden web of life, um, the higher dimensional beings of the highest and purest light. Niwe ashka kasa sanama, niwe ashka kasa sa, niwe kisa sa na na maha, miwaka na se si ishki se si na na maha, miwe ashka kasa sa na maha, miwe ashka kasa sa na maha, niwe na na masa, niwe na na masa, niwe kikina. Niwe kikina, niwe kikina masa, ish kikisa sana namaha, mi anna, niwe kikina masa, niwe kikina masa, niwe anna, niwe anna, niwe anna. Niwe anna, 
you win you ashka kase sina namaha you wake kise sina maha mia naha Iwashka kasa sana namaha, miwa kikisi si ina namaha, miwa kakana, miwa kakana masa. Siashka kasa sana namaha, miya kikisi si ina namaha, miya kikisi si namaha, niwash kiki as kakana namaha. Miwash kiki askaka na na masa. Sasana namaha, miwa kiki ashka ka sisi namaha, siwa kiki namasa, siwa kiki namasa, aka aka aka, aka aka aka. Blessed it be, so mote it be, and so it is. Wow, <laughs> the last bit was the um, third eye attunement by Isis and. Um, the hearts were by the lyrans, the opening to see through eyes of love, speak with love and fear the love in your heart. So the lyrans are supporting us and there was a divine feminine lyran and divine masculine lyran. The divine feminine lyran was in segment, be in your power, trust yourself, you got this. And the divine masculine was, I'll support you, fear grounded um, and we've got your back. You know, this is also this huge change over from the old paradigm into the new, where we now work in harmony together. Um, Gaia was part of it and it's like, wow, feel it, celebrate it. It's your time for breakthrough. It's great. Um, it'll be rough and ready at times, but it'll also feel better as time goes on. And the new moon, <laughs> that energy just came in. With the Leo new moon, this new fresh energy coming in and a wave of this deep cleanse, we're like, oh my God, how much more can there be? Really, this new moon is a deep cleanse of your energies, a surrender. And um, if you want to be at the beach by the ocean, have a wonderful shower to feel, oh my God, I'm ready for this now. And I wish you a most wonderful week. I look forward to welcoming all of you on the 7th of August, the Sunday, um, to the Lionsgate activation. And I wish you a most benevolent rest of your day. Namaste.